Hello everyone, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking a look at an older Victorinox model. And this is one I did pick up off the secondary market. Got it for an absolute bargain, so I really do appreciate that Paddy, thank you for selling it to me. And here we have it, it is the Victorinox Angler. And this is a standard 91mm design, which equates to... Uh, where are we looking at? 1, 2, 3, 3.7 inches, 3.6 inches, something along those lines. So standard sort of 91mm Victorinox. You do have the older style Celador scales where you have the inlaid shield and the inlaid image of the fish there. And I don't know if you can work out the detail that's gone into that to get that inlaid in there. See the scales they've done on there, the tail, even the fins at the back have got little cutouts on the face. Very high craftsmanship to get that to sit in there inlaid perfectly. And there's there's no gaps around it at all. It's, you know, it's outstanding craftsmanship to get both of these in there like that. So there is a bit of use and wear on the scales. You can see there's a couple of scratches up here and things like that, but nothing like that puts me off. If I'm going to buy an older piece, it's what you sort of expect. And this being one of the original anglers, this is a four layer design. Um, model number for this one, we're looking at 1.3653.72. So quite a mouthy model number for this, but it is an older piece. Um, based on the tang stamp, which we'll take a look at in a minute, I'm sort of aging this between 1992 and 2005. But if I had if I had to guess based off some information I got off SAC Wiki, I think we're looking between 92 and 94 based on the tool set and different things like this. So we'll go through the tool set now and have a look what's on this sort of knife. We'll start on the outside and work our way in as usual. So first up we have the key ring and then on the front scales you have the tweezers. These look like they haven't been used at all, or if they have, they've been very well looked after. One of my favourite tools on the Victorinox knife. On the back there, we have the toothpick, and again, I mean, it looks brand new. And then on the reverse of the knife, on the back, you have the corkscrew. And there's a couple of different variations of this, of what I can find out about it. There was two... There's a lot of variations of the angler looking at it, but there was two sort of main ones at the start. You could either have the corkscrew or the the Phillips head uh, screwdriver. So whoever bought this originally went for the corkscrew. And then on the back as well, you have the reamer slash owl with the sewing eye. You can see that's had a bit of use. You can see the it's been used to punch through things. But again, buying an older knife, I would expect to see use on it. I do like picking up an older knife where you can see it's been used and cherished by the previous person or the previous owners and nothing is damaged on here. It's still got excellent snap on that. And based on my experience with Victorinox knives, this is always one of the tools to sort of stick up or freeze up first. And I mean, listen to the snap on it. So on the front, we have pretty much standard sort of tool set. You have the can opener with the small flathead screwdriver. There we go. And then on the left hand side, you have with a half stop, you have the large flathead screwdriver with the cap lifter and the wire stripper. And for the age of the knife, all these have absolutely fantastic action. And then in the next layer, we have the pliers. Another fantastic tool option from, from Victorinox with these Swiss Army knives. I would love to see them make a model you know, with pliers, scissors and just a pen blade. I, they probably do, I just don't know what it's called or can't find one. But again, yeah, you would use these with the angler maybe for taking the hooks out of the fish's mouth. Maybe clamping the weights together or maybe if you're pulling a bit of the, the fishing lure to tie it up a knot. Maybe you want to pull it a bit tighter because it can be slippery in your hands. Th those sorts of things. And you do have... What looks like a sort of wire crimp here as well so there we go the pliers and then next up is a sort of a unique tool this is the fish scaler and hook tool they call it so you do have the little fork at the top there and then you do have some measurements on there and i've learned that if you turn it sideways you can see we have three inches at the top there one two three and on the back obviously that equates to what we got like 7.7 .7, I think is three inches so we got seven centimeters on there 
and then the scaler of course I mean it's pretty self-explanatory what that's for but you would just go against the grain of the fish's scales and that would ping all the scales off if you like processing the fish and then the back two tools we have the main blade you can see again this has had some use sort of wear and tear scratches but again the blade's not been sharpened poorly it's been sharpened very well it's a nice clean edge all the way around nice clean nail neck on there as well and we'll take a look at the tang stamps might be easier to see if I leave it open so you can see on the front we have Victorinox Switzerland stainless rust fry and then on the back this sort of age related one that based off the chart I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it very well but we have the crossbow with the cross and the cross isn't touching the bow which sort of makes it between that 92 and 2005 sort of era and then with officer swiss underneath and again excellent action on these I, I still can't believe the action on a knife this old it just goes to show that their the build quality and their quality control at victorian ox is is second to none really and on the back finally we have the little pen blade and of course this is going to have a little bit of wear on it but not as much as the main blade again it's been sharpened really well nice edge all the way around and just the nice versatile use to a little pen blade it's one i would use quite a lot I'd probably use it in a pinch grip maybe opening a letter i might use it this way but another very useful tool on a victorian ox knife so I'll just take a look at all the tools one more time. If I get them all out, you can see the sort of tool set we're looking at. And then we have the pliers this side. And then that fish hook tool, which is this side as well. Just trying to open these all up so you can see them. And then we have the main spear blade. And then on this side, of course, you have the little pen blade. So really sort of useful tools on this. Two tools I haven't got on any other Victorinox knife, which I'm glad to get, is the pliers and the scaler. And then, of course, the mixture with the, the sort of standard tool set as well. So there we go, guys. That's my review and overview of the Victorinox Angler. So it's an older piece from 92 to 2005. I really hope you enjoyed this review. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.